Did you just receive your orders to Schofield Barracks out here in Oahu, Hawaii and wondering when you arrive, what do you do next? Well, in this video, we're going to cover everything so that you have a smooth PCS process right when you land on the island. So stick around to get all the details. See you on the other side. All right, guys, like I mentioned in this video, we're gonna go over not the entire PCS process. I have another video which you can check out right here. It's got some great tips and tricks when it comes to preparing to PCS to Hawaii once you receive those orders. This video specifically is gonna go over what happens right when you arrive, what are the next steps? Because there's a lot of preparation prior to actually arriving and make sure you check out that video that I mentioned before. But once you arrive, there are some steps that you're gonna to wanna to be aware of so you're not just holding your bags, looking around, not knowing what to do. So in this video, we're gonna go over that. Now, before we jump into it, I'm gonna quickly introduce myself. My name is Patrick Longley. I'm a licensed real estate agent out here in Hawaii, helping buyers and sellers for the last decade buy and sell homes out here in Oahu, Hawaii. And I'd be happy to help you if you guys are looking to purchase or sell a property out here in Hawaii. Got my contact information right here, or you can directly DM me on any of my social media platforms. Well, that's enough with that. Let's jump directly into what the next steps are right when you land on the island. But number one, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to baggage claim number 19. And this is the doesn't matter what rank you are. Everybody has to do this when you land and you're going to be stationed at Schofield Barracks. You need to go to baggage claim 19. Once you arrive there, they're going to have a little packet. They're going to kind of walk you through this process more or less of what I'm explaining to you. Kind of go over your per diem, your TLA, your COLA, everything that's included when you actually PCS out here. And they're also going to give you your four day in schedule processing. Now, depending on what day you arrive, if you arrive on a Wednesday, you're going to have to wait until after the weekend to actually start that four day process. Or if you arrive on the weekend, then come Monday, you're most likely going to start that four day in process scheduling. But there will be a sheet that kind of goes over it. And keep in mind, there are some ROMs and or restriction of movement where basically Basically, you can't leave wherever you are because of quarantine or rules or regulations, but you can leave basically for food or hygiene reasons. And you wanna make sure you don't get caught if you're doing anything outside of that because there can be repercussions. But there are some restrictions so make sure you ask about that at baggage claim 19 of when you can actually do things and when you can't so you're going to cover a lot of what the next steps are going to be once you get to that baggage claim 19 where somebody will actually walk you through the process and then of course from there unless they have any other directions for you, you most likely will go to your hotel and that's where you're going to kind of wait until your in processing schedule starts okay the second thing we're going to go over is where is schofield barracks even located so as you can see in this map schofield is basically located in between milani and wahiwa it's closer to wahiwa Wahiwa, right by the mountains there. And right there is where we station all of our army servicemen and women. It's also where we hold Wheeler Army Field. And right by the barracks, we have a few different schools. You've got the, we have Ka'ala Elementary, Wheeler Middle School. And for our golfers, we have Lelehua Golf Course right down the street. You have a commissary, a post exchange, and in the general area, there are a bunch of really good spots to eat as well. And one of my favorite Mexican restaurants, which is right in Wahiwa, is Taqueria Ranchero. So make sure you check that out. So that's generally speaking where Schofield is actually located. Now let's go over the third thing, whereas if you are stationed and you're going to live off post, where are some of the most convenient places to live, which would be good for you and your family and also close proximity to the base. So there's a handful of different places you can live that's in close proximity. The first one I would suggest and probably one of my top choices, which would be Mililani. Mililani itself, especially if you have a family, is a great location. It's centrally located only about 10 minutes away from Schofield Barracks and it has some of the best schools on all the islands, not just Oahu, on all of the islands. Additionally, Mililani, for all the Mililani residents, offers seven different rec centers. They've got a plenty of big box stores. I think they have a Costco and YPO, which is right down the street. They have a UFC gym, a Walmart. Um, basically anything and everything you need is right there, which is really convenient. Additionally, because you're in the middle of the island, you are centrally located. So you pretty much can get to anywhere you want on the island within 30 to 45 minutes. And the beach isn't too far. It's probably about closest beach, probably about 20 minutes away. Now, the next place you could live is right there in Wahiwa, which is actually where Schofield Barracks is technically located. Now, Wahiwa, there's certain parts that are a little bit of rough around the edges so make sure you check it out before you buy a house there or at least have a realtor to kind of walk you through the process it's one of the areas you can live in probably not the most popular area um, but that's also an option for you the third option you have is the north shore the north shore or what we like to call it here country absolutely gorgeous it's the surfing epicenter of pretty much the world and if you are living in the north shore you're probably going to be in Haleiwa or wailua and then you're going to have a straight shot over to schofield barracks it's basically a one-way highway in and out probably take you about 20 25 minutes depending on traffic so that's another option for you but it is out 
out in the country, so just make sure that you know that there isn't much over there. There's no big box stores. There's maybe one or two actual grocery stores and just a bunch of beautiful beaches. So keep that in mind. And the last place I would suggest, which once again is gonna be in that like 25 minute proximity drive is gonna be um, basically either Kapolei, Eva, or Makikilo. This is a very popular area with the military community for a couple different reasons. Number one, it's not too far from base and not too far from a lot of different bases. I mean, you're basically 20, 25 minutes from all of the bases on the island. You've got Schofield, of course, Wheeler, you've got Pearl Harbor, um, you've got Tripler Hospital. I mean, everything is pretty much 25 minutes from that Kapolei, Eva, Makikilo area. So it is very popular with the military community. And additionally, a lot of the homes built over there were basically built in the late 80s, but mainly the 90s and 2000s. So you get newer constructed homes, double wall construction, dual pane windows, central AC, usually they come with solar. Um, it's just, you know, usually more popular and a smoother transition from people coming from the mainland who PCS here and want that newer constructed home because a lot of homes out here in Hawaii were built in the 40s, 50s and 60s, but over there, they're a lot newer. So it's pretty popular with the military community because of that natural transition and quality of living and more importantly, the price per square foot compared to the rest of the island. So. Definitely a place you wanna check out is Eva, Kapolei, and Makikilo. Okay guys, well that was a quick breakdown of what you're gonna to wanna to do when you arrive, where Schofield Barracks is actually located, where you could potentially live if you're living off post, and pretty much everything in between. If you guys got any value out of this content, if you guys can do me a huge favor, make sure you smash that like button as well as click the subscribe and notification bell so you can get notified whenever I drop videos just like this. And if you're looking to PCS to Hawaii and you're looking to purchase a home or just have some general questions, feel free to reach out to me. I'd be happy to help you. You got some boots on the ground. I got my contact information right here as well as you can directly DM me on any of my social media platforms. Anyways, guys, that pretty much wraps it up. I'm Patrick with PatrickLawnlyRealty.com powered by eXp Realty. Hope you guys have a beautiful day and I'll talk to you soon. Aloha.